Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do each and every Tuesday at uh, the 3.30 hour. Don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord, ord-oracle.com. Tim Ward, what's going on? Well, I sent you over actually quite a few charts. I don't know where to begin. We can cover the gold market or we can look at the uh, S&Ps. Wherever you um, want. They're all red, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we, we can uh, do chart one, I guess, to okay. uh, begin with. Yep. And uh, anyhow, I, I kind of got it all. Uh, I do a lot of stuff with ticks and trend. We actually covered this last week. I did get long, uh, I don't know, a couple, three, four days ago. I forgot exactly what day it was. But anyhow, I still think um, there's probably a bottom in here. This is option expiration week. Okay. It normally has a bullish bias. And well, I think last Friday I got a trend close of 1.79 and a minus 414 down tick readings. And I got that listed on the chart there. Yes. And about three, day, or, you know, three days later, I got a trend close of 1.17 and a 200, uh, down to, a 208 down tick reading. And usually over the years I found if the trend closes at 1.2 or higher, and at least minus 200 down to greetings the same day, usually you're looking at a low in that vicinity, usually within two days. Well, we've gone over, you know, over a week now, and we're screwing around with this gap area that happened. I got a list of their open gaps, and that's a pink area. Yes. And that gap formed on, I think it was July 14th. We had 91 million shares. And we're into that gap right now, and uh, we're... Looks like we're almost closing that gap as we're put as we're talking right now. That's correct. I still think uh, I think we're probably going to find support uh, in this vicinity. Uh, the reason why, if you go down below the volume chart, yep, and you see the VIX there, I do. And so, yeah. So what's happening here? You know, the SPs are making lower lows over the last you know week, two weeks, week and a half, wherever it is. And if you notice, the uh, VIX is also making uh, lower highs. So normally, if VIX trades opposite of the S SPYs. So if, if the SPYs goes down and makes a new low, the VIX should make a new high. And that's not happening here. You know, we made a higher high back in, I don't know what date that was, that was... A Friday, so yeah. The last high Friday. out here was the let's see, I can't see it either. The eighth, yeah, eighth of August. Eighth, yeah, eighth, eighth, so that's a week ago, and now um, uh, even even with today's decline, we still haven't broke above that uh, August eighth high. Right. So that's a, that's a small divergence, but over time it works pretty well. So that's kind of a short term deal. My call is we'll still end up this this week could be wrong and this gap area we're in right now we're not blown through that gap you know to get through a gap you at least need 91 million shares to get through the gap and today's volume is not going to do it you know, right. volume so you know, tim let me ask you right something now, what, do, what do you do what do you do when so, that you know i understand what you're saying because we're both hit the volumes what do you do when yeah you're not getting the volume but the price isn't holding through even the gap do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. But yeah, expiration week, I tell you what, of all the weeks yeah, that right. just have kind of screwy stuff, right. they all come during expiration week. And actually, the week before expiration week, sometimes you get a little screwy. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking will. they're just shaking it out here. Yeah. And, you know, we'll know by Friday what, you know, if, if, no, no, if my sure. uh, analysis comes out right or not, because either we get fine support in here or yeah. we don't. Right. Uh, so, um, but I got enough. We got enough ticks and trend to say we got enough panic to find a low in this gap area. And okay. The, and the VIX kind of helps support that idea. Okay. So, but let's flip, let's flip to, the, to the next chart. So I'm saying I'm bullish. I think we go up to okay um, to the next higher gap, which is the uh, August second gap up around 454. So let's flip to the second chart. Yes. Now this chart, we actually we we talked about this back in. April, May, when we're on the radio, and yes. we were talking uh, that eight, the April, May period where the market was going sideways, 
and we were talking, and a lot of people in, in your trading room were bearish in that time frame. Yes. And the reason why I stayed bullish, and the market kind of just went sideways. It went up and down, up and down. But the reason why I stayed bullish, because, because of this chart. Right. And the, the top window is a VIX. The second window down is a three-day average of the SPY VIX ratio. And this ratio, a lot of time, leads the way for the market. So a lot of times you'll find bullish divergence at bottoms and bearish divergence at tops. Um, and so we did, back in that April-May period, that ratio was making higher highs compared to the previous highs, where the S&Ps was making pretty much just matching the previous highs. But I always said in the past, the SPX ratio a lot of times leads the SPYs. Right. And so I stayed long, anyhow, it turned out to be right. So what I want to talk about now is uh, currently, if you look at the last box to the right, yes. which is the current time frame we're in right now, we're basically higher than the early July lows. Right. But if you, if you look at the ratio, it's lower than the higher. So, so I'm not contradicting myself here. No, no, I got it. Market, I got it. I got but, it. Uh, but the. The market rallies here, which I think it will. I don't know how high, but if it does rally, this this ratio is leading. So the next rally up, you want to go short because this ratio suggests that at some point we're going to make lower lows in the SPYs. Right, and that's that's so, that's that's the key. Yeah, I got it. Right, I can see that. Right, right. I, but if if you notice that little. Um, um, swing up we had here over the last week and a half. Yes. On on the ratio. Yes. Well, that's that swing down on the daily chart on the first first chart. Right. Just stay with us a second. We're going to a quick break. Right. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 379. Nasdaq's up 164. S&Ps are up 56. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We are talking markets out here. And don't forget, folks, you can always get hold of Tim at Ord-Oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 390, NASDAQ's off 171, S&Ps are off 57. So, Tim, do you want me to go to the next chart here, or do you want to stay on this one? Uh, well, it's up to you. You got any questions about it? No, no, I, I understand it. I, I, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I get it. Like, it, 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 we have a real sloppy market. The, the intriguing yeah, thing sloppy. here. That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. No, so it it's is. It's kind of hard to. Actually, I, I sent over chart number five. Okay. Did you get that one? I, if I have it, we will. No, I'm sure I'll have it and I can get it up for sure. Uh, we'll get this up. Uh, yeah, I kind of did some stuff, and I, the other one was kind of confusing. I tried to. That's all right. Make it more just clear. give me, just give me one second. Uh, well, Jacob will put it right inside the rest of this. We'll go to. Let, let's do. Let's do chart five. One second. Okay, I just sent him a text. He'll get that one up. Why don't we go to then? Uh, Want to go to four right now? We'll do we'll do three four, and four, and then by four. that time he'll Funny. have five up for us. All right. Right. Uh, one of your listeners emailed me and they wanted to, to cover it. And actually, he's got a good point. Uh, his name is Hector out of California. Okay. Cool. So, but um, anyhow, chart number four. Uh, uh, three. The blue. The blue. A uh, four. You want huh? four. Four. Okay. Well, we can do five. Five is just a little um, better. Let me but. just see if he's got five up yet. One second. Hold on. I don't have five yet. And I can't, what right. happens, Tim, is that I don't take emails on this, and I just... Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. One second. No, no, no. I know how to do this. One second. When, when you sent this over, this would have been, let's see... A half hour, hour ago. Okay. Uh, hour... So, I must say, yeah, I, I, one second. Apologize for being no, late. No, don't on. worry, just, don't worry, man. I think I got this. Okay, so. They look similar. Oh, yeah, no, I can five. see that. I can see what you're looking at. Okay. Hopefully he gets this and get it up. Let, let's just do another chart until then, all right? Because he'll right. he, um, get it up for us. Well, we can do chart four. Okay. And uh, chart four, anyhow, the, the blue area is when both those indicators on the bottom are above minus 10. And the, the pink areas are when those two indicators are below minus 10. And what I want to point out, he actually got a good point. There's a gap on August 3rd. Um, I forgot what the gap. Or, uh, there's a gap there on um, you know, uh, uh, the March, I think it was March 13th. Okay. I got a, a gap test. We're testing that gap today, and that gap had 57 million shares uh, tested, and it came in at uh, 2834. Well, we'll get below that. So we're actually testing that gap right now. Yeah, and now, folks, we're I'm, talking about the GDX now. We went from the S&P to the GDX, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a GDX. No, no I can see that. So, right. Uh, so, you know, we're testing that gap. And what chart five will show, which it doesn't really show in chart four, but you see that double bottom back in uh, March of uh, this year, double bottom on GDX? Yep. So made a bet double bottom. Well, if you go down to those two indicators below it, you'll notice the first 
uh, for the second bottom is higher than the first bottom on both those indicators. Right. So that's a bullish divergence. Okay, now so I get chart my, five, Tom. Tim, I got it. All right, so let's, let's, let's chart five. Okay, so now I got boxes around that, you know, there's yes. a red box around that March time right. frame. And so I want to point out, and I got that circled in gap right around, around there. We're running into that gap today. What I want to make a point on is both both those bottom in, two indicators did a positive divergence. In other words, as the S&Ps were making a lower low, yep. both those indicators were making higher lows. Right. Well, if you also go, go into the top in um, May, yeah, the May period, the S or the GDX made a double top. And That's both right. Both those indicators made lower tops. Right. Okay. And so now you take into the current time frame, which is the red box far to the right. Yes. And the S and P's are making lower lows, and both those indicators are still making higher highs. And we're running into that gap, and the gap had uh, uh, fifty-seven million shares back on the March 13th. Yeah. So we're not going to hit 57 million shares today. No, because so, right now, folks, we only have 14. All right. Now, that the, the, even the day prior to that, we had 35. So there's no doubt. Now I can see that. Right. They, they right. We know they make the gold market hard, man. I mean, because the gold contract also, Tim, the gold contract, that's where I'm, my take is that the gold contract is looking to go to this um, 1904 level. And the 1904 level is actually the same day that that gap is at, you know, and the, you know, we hit 1927 today, but, you know, that strength, when we came off that low, is 1904.10. That's the, I, mean, you, I mean, you know how that, right. I mean, it's just, it, what happens, folks, is that gold, you know, goes higher than it should on the way up and lower than it should on the way down. So it's always intriguing. Right, you're exactly right. The, 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 uh, you got to have people throw in the towel, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah. and, and that's how these markets work. You know, the, the harder they throw in the towel, the, the more massive yeah. the bottom is or whatever. And you can see, but, man, this, this gold market, Tim, has been trying. I mean, you know, for the amount, it, it's been a slow raise a blade cut on the way down right i mean yeah on this particular one down yeah because this these two indicators on the bottom you know never fell below uh or fell below you know the the minus 10 area just recently you know so if and that's kind of unusual usually this indicator the, those bottom those bottom two indicators usually get you out pretty close to the highs Okay. If you look, you know, look on history. Yeah. And this one around, you know, the market you got in were pretty close to the lows, but it never got you out until pretty much for break even over here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, if you notice, you, you got in about oh, can't quite tell. Looks like about twenty nine, and it got you out about twenty nine, give or take. And so it was kind of a break in. Normally, that would get you out closer to closer to the highs, up around maybe thirty one. Yeah, um, and I didn't do it this time, which and is kind of strange. But you know, indicators are indicators. But you still have a positive divergence here, really, which is so huge. I'm still thinking, right? Uh, this market is still about ready to turn up. So um, they never anyhow, said it me, was going to be easy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never. Yeah, it is. It is. If it's if it's easy, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> totally, it's, it's, man. Uh, totally. Look totally. At it. Wait, so, well, listen, man. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you know, it's there's no doubt it's wild. We, of course, look forward to having you back on Thursday, Tim. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks so much. And listen, Tim, uh, listen, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at ord oracle.com. That's ord oracle.com. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 360, NASDAQ off 156, SPs off 52. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.